Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back, Pack Opening Addict. I enjoyed doing, I just kind of named it the double feature, I don't know what else to call it, doing one of each box, but I enjoyed it so much doing it with a couple of the patrons that I'm going to do one because it's my channel and if I want to do one, I can do one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up draft box, we're going to open a collector box, we're going to see how we do, and I'm just going to take this, we're gonna, of course we're going to do that last, of course we're going to do that last. And let me pop this thing open. And take everything out. Hold on. Let me just shift some stuff out of the way. There we go. Okay. Forgot to put some stuff on the table here. <clears throat> All right. So, how's everybody doing? A bunch of cards are already recovering after hitting lows. Um, even cards, I admit, I didn't even expect to recover that quickly. It's kind of impressive. Singles have been flying off the shelves, or digital shelves, anyway. It's been impressive. And we're going to start off with a foil lightning bolt, panharmonicon, and a Judith. It's a Judith. Okay, and that is our first pack, Thought Scour. Yeah. I'm not going to spend that much time, really, or really much of any time, with the commons. Green Sun Zenith. Huh. Okay. All right. That's two good rares in a row. Love it. And Phyrexian Tyranny. And we got a Scale Blessing and Young Pyromancer. All right. We're going to have... Ha! Mana Train. Fantastic. Good first Mythic. And Pull from Tomorrow... Terminate. Yeah, oh, man. I, I really, I really appreciate, I mean, it's just how clear the artwork is. Colorful. Very clear of what it is it's trying to accomplish. Obviously, it's very literal. And, hey, is that a privileged position? It is a privileged position. Not bad. Oh, I forgot that this card was actually in the set. I've seen so few of them. And actually, I've seen so few of them. Anguished Unmaking. I don't know if this is holding on, actually. It was like a $7 card before this. I actually haven't looked. But I haven't pulled one yet, so sweet. Okay. Sign Darkness and the Mist Meadow Witch. Shadowborn Apostle. Supreme Verdict. Not bad. And the Shatter Gang Bros. Shadow Green Bros, seems like a cool card, but for the sake of a video opening, opening a product like Double Masters, that goes down below. Gonna have Coligan's Command. Okay, we're just gonna keep knocking out $5 rares, huh? Alright, and we got Verena, the Lich Queen, Zori's Chancery, and the Eternal Witness. Just kind of going steady in this one, I see. We're just, uh, you know, we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to uh, relax. We're going to, not going to get mad. We're not going to fiery justice. Yay, dark steel plate. There's another one personally that I've barely seen, and I know I haven't gotten one for myself. I have no idea if the price is holding on. I don't really care either. Dragon arch. Because that's the first one I pulled for myself. I honestly thought six boxes was going to complete the set for me, and it did not. <clears throat> From the same case. So we got the Abzan Ascendancy and Villainous Wealth. I have played against villain, Villainous Wealth a bunch, and that card is annoying as hell. Alright, so we're now we are done with the first row. We're only one Mythic in, which is nice, because we still got plenty more of those to go. Uh, we're kind of killing it with those, like... Not bulk, but, but lower level rares. Lower level rares that aren't bulk. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. Liliana. Okay, so we got a Liliana. Second Mythic. And Rafika the Mini. Summer Bloom, that's cool. And is it Boiler Works? I kind of made this joke in another video, but I, I think after opening some of these, I've got all the bounce lands I will ever need. Ever. Glimpse the Unthinkable, once again, just killing it with that level of rare. And Pillar of the Prunes, okay. Okay. 
Pontiff Terminate, regular Terminate. All right, what else can we possibly get? Hopefully we start seeing some more Mythics. Bring to Light. That's actually the first one of those I pulled for myself too. So this is the box I needed to get to get a bunch of things I didn't have. I see how that works. Yeah, yeah, track printing, yeah, yeah. Something like that anyway. Rectos Carnarium. Backdraft Hellkite, don't care. And Master Biromancer, like the card, don't care. All right, that was an ant pack. So do you see in a foil? That's not a big hit, but okay. Bant Charm. Force of Negation. Okay, sweet. And also the first one of those I have personally pulled that isn't in the borderless. I mean the regular version. Yeah, words. Pithy Needle. Moving on. I want to say, because I, I opened six... I think it's going to air before one of them anyway. Um, I opened a, a case of the draft of, of boosters myself, and the amount of duplication I got is the same as that cards. In, in, it was a sealed case. It was kind of mind-blowing. Venser and Disciple of the Ring. I mean, I, I didn't necessarily, with 120 rares and 40 mythics, I didn't necessarily expect to get everything. But I expected to get almost everything. And that didn't happen. I mean, regular versions, not like borderless treatments and all that. Marchesa and Wasatora. Cold Steel Heart and the Orzov Basilica. Okay, we're only at two Mythics though. So if we're really, yeah, we have nine packs and only two Mythics out there. Huh, we gotta, we gotta pick up the old Mythic pace here. It's cool to give me uh, fun counter spells, but let's, uh, let's turn that up a little. <laughs> Not with a Zuri. Uh, Conqueror's Flail. Not with a Zuri. Come on. You know, you're you're going to get one or two of at least of uh, some of those Commander reprints in every box. Emil the Blessed. No, 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 no. 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 Thistledown Liege. Inquisition of Kozilek. You know what we want, Fox. You know what we want. We want a Cavern of Souls. We have not seen one of those yet. We want a Dockside. I have not pulled a regular Dockside yet. Food Chain. We'd like to see Food Chain. Dauntless Escort. And I have pulled that exact same pack out of my last box. Weird. Okay. Yeah, we want Food Chain. We want, we want those. Aurelia the War Leader. That's my fourth one of those, personally. And a Blood Forge. Okay, so I am actually kind of picking up a little bit, Blood Artist, how they did the, uh, yeah. Because <clears throat> Azuri, Emil, and Aurelia often come in a box together. So that means Mana Drain was actually before that on the print sheet. Because I didn't get those, and I've gotten those three now, like three times together. Uh, what came after Aurelia? Was it Slumgar? Nico Bolas, yep, that was that was another one that was on that grouping. <laughs> okay, <laughs> track printed, wonderful. Please don't tell me that's the case. <laughs> and CDC, okay. Lava Lanch foil, ah. Oh. Oracle Moldiah, that's sweet. Thraxen Mundar. And Demir Aqueduct. Two packs left. Can we get one more Mythic? We have not gotten a Borderless one yet. Which I assume that those are inserted at much different rates. And look, uh, we did get one and it's not. It is Cedrus the Traitor King. Not one of the ones that we're hoping to get. Elsha. Womp womp. Okay, well this wasn't a particularly good box. I'm not going to call it a disaster, but some might. Hey, Bitter Blossom. Yeah, which is also one I got with those in the previous two times I got them. And a Weathered Wayfarer. Golgari Rot Farm. All right, so that was a draft box. Um, 
Man, those, those are some wild trends going on, I have to admit. Super track. Huh, okay. If those other videos haven't come out yet, you'll you'll eventually see them. And we should probably go back to that at that time. But let's have fun with this now. Oh boy, the new high roll lottery. Here we go. Wish me luck, folks. I'm gonna need it. These have not been kind to me. Kazminas, Dex, Experiment 1, Rampant Growth, Hissing Iguana, Bloodbraid Elf, Symbionts, okay, Lightning Bolt, Eternal Witness, Rampant Growth, there we go, that's cool, for a common, Gruel Turf, alright, and we have a rare Arjun, not what we're looking for. Allosaur Shepherd is, though, very nice. That had a dip. And, it, and it actually, that dip was pretty good. And that quickly recovered. I'm impressed by how fast. I would never have guessed how fast Elisaur Shepherd was going to recover. Bloom Tender in the foil etched. That is super cool. And uh, not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. But give some give in foil. Bit of a womp womp. But Elisaur Shepherd, Bloom Tender, not bad. That's like your uh, break even pack. Blood Artist, excellent. Demir Aqueduct, another Blood Artist. Monastery Swiss Spear, Golgari Rot Farm, always awesome. And Azuri, again, for the second time of the video. Come on, Assassin's Trophy. All right, all right, okay. And, Ar oh no, not Arjun, not Arjun. At least that's the only two ways you can get Arjun. So that's it for the Arjuns. And a rare Panharmonicon. All right, so that was a really weak pack. Although Panharmonicon is actually a really cool hit, but that's not, again, these packs are expensive. So that's not, that was a pretty weak pack. We've got two more packs left, though. There we go. Okay, we got Kwasali Pride Mage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wall of Omens. Unearth. Simic Growth Chamber. Please don't tell me that was what was last. Okay. Green Sun Zenith Foil. Sweet. Oh, Marchesa the Black Rose. Nah, nah. Not what we're looking for. That is much better. If that last pack is bringing some heat, this may actually be like an okay box. Much better. Man, oh, that, that is super sharp. I have to admit. That is really good looking. Okay. And Chaos Warp. Kind of already saw it. Um, it's actually been going up, which is crazy. Not bad, but not what you're looking for in this product. Okay, last pack. If this pack is a heater, um, this box will be okay. If this pack is not a heater, we cannot call this a good collector box. It's that simple, folks. Doesn't matter if you pull an Elsor Shepherd and a Mana Drain. Monastery Swift Spear. Jesus, these things always stick together in these. Coiling Oracle, Thought Scour, Kasali Pride Mage, Joda. Ah, okay. We can do better. We can do better. Crucible of Worlds. Good start. Good start. I really love that treatment. It's rare. Glimpsy Unthinkable. Could be worse. Could be better. We've got one last card, and I actually did not spoil it, which is awesome. Is it a mythic? Please be a mythic. It is a mythic. It is a mythic. It's a 5-5? Five, five? What the hell? Cedrus <laughs> uh, the Troll King. That's what you're going to be referred to as from now on. Uh, okay. Well, not a particularly good draft box. Not a particularly good set box. But I hope everybody had fun. And I still had some fun, and there's still some cool cards there, and I'm not going to deny that. Um, I just pulled my patrons all the heat, and that's what it is. <laughs> they got all the good boxes, which, hey, you know, it is what it is. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.